Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. This tutorial covers importing a tab or comma delimited text file for the 1099 NEC information into the W2 1099 forms filer. Only one pair or form type can be imported at a time. The import steps are the same for tab or comma delimited text files and for all form types. This tutorial demonstrates importing data into the 1099 NEC data form in the W2 1099 forms filer. It will show how to print the field names, set up the import file, and import the data file. First, we need to print the form field names. Open the main menu of the program. Click Utilities. Next, select Import Assistant and then Import Utilities. Select Print Import Field Names. Highlight the 1099 NEC form. Click Select. This is the field name list. The left side lists the field name, and the right side lists a description. This is a complete list of all fields on the form, there may be some that you will not use for importing. We recommend that you print this list, so that you can refer to it when defining the column headers. Now, open the data import file. Your file format should look similar to the one on the screen. Each box on the 1099 form NEC form should have its own column, with the exception of the recipient city, state and zip, which should be contained in one column with a comma after the city. As you can see, each column has been defined. If there is no data for a field or column, and it does not need to be imported, leave the column header blank. Once the column headers are defined, save the file as a tab or comma delimited text file and close the editor and the files. Failure to close the files prior to importing, will result in an error when importing. Now the data file can be imported into the W2, 1099 forms filer. Open the program and from the main menu select Utilities, Import Assistant, and then Import from a tab, or comma, delimited text file. Find and highlight the data import file. If you select the correct location and cannot see the file, change the files of type to all. Click open. Highlight the form and click select. Highlight the pair. And click OK. If prompted, select do not load settings. This will only appear if the settings were saved during a prior import, since we added the column headers. The settings are not needed. Click OK. Since the column headers were added, the import assistant will automatically recognize and define the data. Click Yes. This is the field definition screen. The list on the left contains the field names for the form, and the data from the import file is displayed on the right. If the columns of data have been defined, they will be displayed with a gray background. If the field name has been defined, it will be checked. If a column needs to be defined, click on the field name to the left, the name, not the checkbox, and click in the column of data the name represents on the right. Once all columns that need to be imported are defined, click Import. You can view the warnings and errors. If there are any that need to be corrected, close the import, fix the error and restart the import. For information on the other options, click Help. Select Import Now and click OK. When using column headers, select Do Not Save Settings. Click OK. This screen is used to indicate if the existing forms are to be overwritten, or if the import will add to the existing forms. Top should be selected, if this is the first import, for the form, or if the import will overwrite all existing forms. Bottom is used to add forms to existing forms. Select top and click OK. When the import is completed, click OK. It is now the user's responsibility to verify that all records have imported correctly. To verify data, click print and select either worksheet or table report on the above screen. Either report will generate a summary of the forms. For further questions, 
Please review the frequently asked questions on the AMS website or refer to the help files for additional information. Technical support can be reached by email, fax, chat or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 etc. program. Have a great day.